Once upon a time, in a world moving at breakneck speed, where every moment zips past us like cars on a freeway, there lived a peculiar yet familiar feeling named nostalgia. Like a gentle whisper on a breezy evening, nostalgia speaks to us of days gone by, of laughter shared and tears shed, of melodies that once filled the air, and of scents that transport us back to moments engraved in our hearts. This tale, dear reader, is about nostalgia and its dance with time, memory, and identity. It's a journey into the heart of what makes us human, a dive into the pools of our past to fish out meanings for our present and future. So, sit back, relax, and let's wander through the corridors of time with nostalgia as our guide. Imagine a small, dusty attic filled with boxes of old photographs, letters tied with ribbons and trinkets of yesteryears. Each object, a portal to the past, carrying stories and emotions, beckoning us to take a moment and reflect. This attic, in many ways, symbolizes our mind, where nostalgia resides, sometimes stirring up dust, at other times shining a light on forgotten corners. Nostalgia, a bittersweet longing for the past, was once thought to be a disease, an ailment of the mind causing undue sadness. However, as our understanding deepened, we uncovered its true nature, a complex emotion that not only connects us with our past, but also serves as a bridge to our present and future. It's a tapestry woven from the threads of our memories, painted with the colors of our feelings, displaying scenes from a life lived. In our exploration, we discover that nostalgia does not merely dwell in the realm of personal memories. It has a collective dimension, shared through stories, music, art, and traditions, binding communities, and even nations together. This collective nostalgia acts as an anchor, providing a sense of continuity and belonging in an ever-changing world. But why do we look back? What pulls our heartstrings towards the past? The answer lies in the very fabric of our being. Nostalgia serves multiple purposes. It comforts us in moments of loneliness. It gives us a sense of identity by connecting our past with our present and it offers a scaffold upon which we build our hopes and dreams for the future. In times of uncertainty or change, when the present seems daunting and the future unpredictable, nostalgia acts as a safe haven, reminding us of our resilience and the beauty that once was and can be again. Moreover, nostalgia has a unique relationship with time. It bends time, folding it in such a way that past, present and future seem to coexist. Through nostalgic reflections, we realize that time is not just a linear progression, but a rich, layered tapestry, where moments from our past can breathe life into our present, influencing our future. This temporal malleability offers comfort, a sense of continuity, and an understanding that while moments may pass, their essence remains, shaping who we are and who we become. Nostalgia also plays a crucial role in coping with existential dread the fear of existence fading into nothingness. It assures us that our lives are a collection of moments worth remembering worth cherishing. It argues against the void, asserting that our connections, experiences, and the love we share imbue our existence with meaning, making the dance of life a beautiful one, even when the music stops. In our quest with nostalgia, we also stumble upon the shadows it casts, while it can be a source of comfort and identity, an overindulgence in nostalgia might anchor us too firmly to the past, making it difficult to navigate the present or envision the future. It's a delicate balance like walking on a tightrope between yesterday and tomorrow, where the key lies in using nostalgia not as a crutch, but as a compass, guiding us through the fog of uncertainty towards new horizons. As our journey with nostalgia winds down, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of time, memory, and identity, more aware of the intricate dance between them. Nostalgia, with its gentle nudge, reminds us to cherish our memories, learn from them, and then, with a hopeful heart, turn our gaze towards the future, ready to create new moments that will someday become the nostalgia of tomorrow. So, as we part ways with our guide, let's not forget the lessons learned. Let's hold on to the warmth of nostalgia Use it to illuminate our paths and embark on the adventure of life with a renewed sense of purpose, knowing well that the stories we create today will be the nostalgia of future generations, a testament to our existence, 
a beacon of hope in the timeless dance of life. Imagine, for a moment, stepping into a room filled with the melodies of a song you haven't heard since your youth. As the music unfolds, a wave of emotions sweeps over you, transporting you back to moments that felt like they had been lost to time. This experience, familiar to many, is a vivid example of nostalgia, a powerful psychological phenomenon that bridges our past, present, and future in unexpected and profound ways. Nostalgia was once considered a pathological condition, believed to cause physical and mental ailments. It was thought to be a longing so intense for home or the past that it could make soldiers sick, distract students, and unsettle immigrants. But today, our understanding has evolved dramatically. We recognize nostalgia not as a disease, but as a fundamental human experience, capable of strengthening our sense of self and our connection to others. At its core, nostalgia is a yearning for a past that is remembered fondly, an amalgamation of memories, both significant and mundane, that collectively form the tapestry of our identities. These memories, often idealized and tinged with sweetness, serve as anchors in our swiftly changing lives. When the world around us feels uncertain or the future daunting, nostalgia offers a sanctuary, a return to a time perceived as simpler or happier. Consider the child who, now grown, finds an old toy in the attic. Holding it, they're not just remembering the object itself, but are transported to the moments it represents. Carefree afternoons, the warmth of family, a time when life seemed less complicated. This is nostalgia's magic. It wraps the past in a warm embrace, reminding us of who we were and, by extension, who we are. It's a bridge to our former selves, offering insight and continuity in our ever-evolving stories. Yet, nostalgia's power extends beyond individual reflection. It's a social adhesive, connecting us to others through shared memories and experiences. When we reminisce about the past with friends or family, we're not merely recounting events. We're reaffirming bonds, celebrating shared histories, and reinforcing our collective identity. These moments of communal nostalgia reinforce our sense of belonging and can be especially comforting in times of social upheaval or personal change. Moreover, nostalgia has a unique temporal quality that enriches our understanding of time itself. It blurs the lines between past, present, and future, suggesting that time is not a linear journey, but a more complex tapestry, woven from the threads of memory, emotion, and identity. Through nostalgia, we see that the past is not a distant shore, but a living part of us, influencing how we perceive the present and imagine the future. Psychologists have also discovered the therapeutic aspects of nostalgia. Engaging with nostalgic memories can act as a buffer against feelings of loneliness, anxiety, and existential dread. It can elevate mood, increase self-esteem, and foster resilience. In facing the inevitable changes and challenges of life, Nostalgia provides a well of strength and optimism, reminding us of our capacity to endure and adapt. Nostalgia's significance in our lives underscores the intricate relationship between memory and identity. Our memories, especially those we hold dear, are not mere recollections, but active constructions that shape our sense of self. They are stories we tell ourselves about who we were, who we are, and who we hope to become. Nostalgia, with its idealized recall of the past, plays a crucial role in this ongoing narrative, helping to integrate our experiences into a coherent sense of identity. This exploration of nostalgia reveals it to be far more than a simple longing for the past. It is a complex, multifaceted phenomenon that touches upon the very essence of what it means to be human. Nostalgia reminds us that our relationship with time is not just about moving forward, but about understanding and appreciating the journey itself. It teaches us that the past, with all its joys and sorrows, continues to live within us, shaping our present and guiding us toward the future. In delving into the world of nostalgia, we find a profound truth, that our memories and the emotions they evoke are not just echoes of times gone by but vital parts of our ongoing story. They remind us of the richness of our experiences, the depth of our connections, and the resilience of the human spirit. Nostalgia, in its sweet, reflective embrace, offers not just a window into our past, 
but a mirror reflecting who we are and all that we can be. As we delve deeper into the concept of nostalgia, it becomes clear that it's not just a personal or psychological phenomenon, but also a subject of great interest in literature and philosophy. Literature, with its boundless capacity to explore the human condition, often mirrors the complexities of nostalgia, offering insights into its nuances and contradictions. In Marcel Proust's monumental work, In Search of Lost Time, nostalgia plays a central role, famously triggered by the taste of a madeleine dipped in tea. Proust delves into the involuntary memories that this simple act evokes, illustrating how sensory experiences can unlock a floodgate of vivid, almost palpable past experiences. This literary masterpiece showcases nostalgia's power to collapse time, bringing past moments into the present with an intensity that can be both joyous and bittersweet. Similarly, in The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, the protagonist, J. Gatsby, is driven by a profound sense of nostalgia for his lost love Daisy. His attempts to recreate the past and regain what was lost underscore the often illusionary nature of nostalgic desire. Gatsby's story is a poignant exploration of the longing for an idealized past and the harsh realities that can shatter such dreams. These literary examples reflect a crucial aspect of nostalgia, its dual nature as both a source of comfort and a potential trap. While nostalgia can provide a soothing connection to what we perceive as better times, it can also lead to an idealization of the past that obscures the complexities of reality and hinders our ability to engage with the present and future constructively. Philosophers have also pondered nostalgia's implications for our understanding of time and existence. The French philosopher Henry Bergson's concept of duration, for instance, suggests a perception of time that is fluid and subjective, deeply intertwined with memory and consciousness. Bergson's ideas resonate with the experience of nostalgia, which challenges linear conceptions of time, emphasizing instead the interpenetration of past and present in our lived experience. Nostalgia, therefore, is not merely a sentimental longing, but a reflection of our deepest struggles with time, memory, and identity. It highlights the tension between the transient nature of human life and our desire for permanence and continuity. This tension is beautifully captured in literature and philosophy, which repeatedly return to nostalgia as a theme to explore the human psyche and the paradoxes of existence. Understanding nostalgia also has practical implications for our lives. Recognizing the value of nostalgic reflection can encourage us to cultivate a more nuanced relationship with our past. Instead of merely escaping into nostalgia, we can use it as a lens to gain insights into our desires, fears, and aspirations. It can help us appreciate the richness of our experiences, learn from them, and integrate them into a coherent narrative of self. Furthermore, in an increasingly fast-paced and changing world, Nostalgia can serve as a reminder of the importance of slowing down, savoring moments, and maintaining connections with our history and heritage. It can inspire us to create and preserve memories that will not only sustain us in times of change, but also enrich our lives and those of future generations. In conclusion, nostalgia is a multifaceted phenomenon that transcends the boundaries of psychology, literature, and philosophy. It invites us to reflect on our relationship with time, the construction of memory, and the ongoing process of shaping our identities. By engaging with nostalgia in a thoughtful and critical manner, we can uncover its potential to enhance our understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. It reminds us that, while the past may be gone, it continues to live within us, offering wisdom, comfort, and inspiration as we navigate the complexities of life. In exploring the depths of nostalgia, we find ourselves at the intersection of individual and collective memory, where personal experiences meld with shared histories, crafting a complex narrative of human connectedness. This blending of the personal with the collective opens a new dimension in our understanding of nostalgia, revealing its role in shaping not only individual identities, but also cultural and societal narratives. The collective aspect of nostalgia is evident in the way communities reminisce about shared pasts, often idealizing certain periods as golden ages. This communal nostalgia can manifest in various forms, 
such as nostalgia for the cultural ethos of previous decades, a longing for the simplicity of life before technological advancements, or a yearning for the perceived unity during times of national triumph or tragedy. Such collective memories, while fostering a sense of belonging and identity within a group, also underscore the selective nature of nostalgia, highlighting how societies choose to remember and forget. This selective remembrance raises critical questions about nostalgia's role in constructing historical narratives. The nostalgia that permeates cultural or national identity often glosses over the complexities and conflicts of the past, presenting a sanitized version that may serve contemporary needs but distorts historical realities. This process, while unifying, can also exclude and silence alternative memories and histories, particularly those of marginalized groups. Understanding this dual nature of nostalgia as a source of comfort and connection, as well as a potential tool for exclusion and revisionism is crucial in navigating its impact on society. Moreover, the digital age has transformed the landscape of nostalgia, introducing new dynamics to how we engage with the past. Social media platforms, with their endless archives of photos and posts, serve as digital repositories of personal and collective histories, enabling instant nostalgic reverie with a click of a button. This immediacy and accessibility of the past challenge traditional notions of nostalgia, making it a more pervasive and potentially overwhelming part of our lives. The digital realm also allows for the creation of micro-nostalgias, where even recent pasts become objects of longing, reflecting the accelerated pace of change in contemporary society. Despite these complexities, the essence of nostalgia as a bridge between past and present remains intact, offering invaluable insights into the human condition. The literary and philosophical explorations of nostalgia, along with a psychological understanding of its functions, reveal a profound truth. Nostalgia, in its essence, is about the search for meaning, continuity, and connection in the face of temporal flux. It reflects the human desire to anchor ourselves in a world that is constantly changing, seeking solace in memories that offer a sense of permanence. As we navigate the intricate landscape of nostalgia, it becomes evident that its value lies not only in its ability to soothe and connect, but also in its potential to illuminate and challenge. By critically engaging with nostalgia, both in its personal and collective forms, we can uncover the layers of memory, identity, and history that shape our understanding of ourselves and the world. This engagement requires a delicate balance honoring the warmth and comfort of nostalgic reflections, while remaining vigilant to the dangers of idealization and exclusion. Nostalgia emerges as a vital thread in the tapestry of human experience, weaving together the past, present, and future. It invites us to reflect on the transient beauty of life, the enduring power of memory, and the continuous process of self-discovery and reinvention. Through nostalgia, we learn to embrace the complexity of our journeys, finding in our longing for the past a profound appreciation for the richness of the human story and a renewed hope for the future.